In this lesson, we are going to look at questions that look like this. So I'm going to go through the very basics with you in now in the beginning, and then we're just going to do like three or four examples just to make sure you understand. So what I want you to do is look at this carefully, just this part over here, okay? And specifically, look at this part. What is that? That is an x value, right? So if they then do something like this, then what are they doing? They're telling you that the x value, see the f is the same. The f doesn't change. There's an f there and there's an f there. But what they've now done is they've changed the x value to a 1. Can you see that? So what they are doing is they are saying, let the x value equal 1 and then find the answer. Then find answer. Okay, so what we're going to do then is we are going to go find all the x values in this expression. So there it is there. And wherever you see an x value, you're going to make a little bracket. And as I said, we're going to do a few examples in this lesson, so you'll get it, okay? So let everything else be the same. But wherever you see there was an x value, I want you to put a bracket. That is so important, okay? And you're going to replace it with a 1. All right, so that's all that we've done. And now you're just going to go work this out. So don't worry about this negative. Remember, you cannot put the negative inside the absolute value sign. So you're going to leave it like that. Now, this just becomes the absolute value of 1 plus 1, which is 2. And so the absolute value of 2 is just going to be 2, like that. And so if you had to go work this out, you get minus 2 plus 1, which is minus 1. And so there's the answer for that one. Here's the next one. So what are they doing? They're wanting you to replace this all the x values with a 4. See that? They've just changed the x to a 4. So wherever you see an x, you're going to replace that with a 4. But now this question has a little area where a lot of learners make mistakes. This would be the wrong way. This is wrong. They'll just go like this. They'll go minus 4 squared and then... Well, sometimes they'll put this in a bracket like that, okay? So that I'm talking about this part over here. But what you've got to rather do is the following. This minus is not part of the x. So you're going to say minus, then you're going to put a bracket, okay? Only where there's an x, that's where you're going to put a bracket, okay? Then you're going to go replace all the x's with a 4. See what I did there? I only replace the x's with a 4 because that's what they've asked us to do. And so this will become minus 16 plus 40 minus 22. And if you had to go work this out, you end up with 2. So f of 4 is 2. So here in this example, they're asking you to replace all the x values with minus 5. Okay, so we're going to change this x. We're going to put a bracket there and we're going to put a bracket there. Remember that this minus is not part of the bracket, so it's going to look like this. You're going to put a minus, then you're going to put a bracket, okay? Then there's a minus 4, then you're going to put a bracket like that. So we're going to go put minus 5 in all of those places, very nice. Remember that this minus does not multiply inside there. You first calculate that part. So that's going to give us minus, because there's already a minus there. And then if you do this on your calculator, in brackets, it'll become 25. Okay, so that, so that minus there, that's already, so it stays minus 25. This minus 4 and minus 5, if you multiply them together, it becomes plus 20, and then minus 1. And so if you had to go work this out, you're going to end up with minus 6. And here's our last example. So here you're going to replace all the x values with an 8. So what I would do is I would say 3, absolute value, put a little bracket, and then I would replace that bracket, or I'd put a little 8 on the inside. Okay, now that'll become 3, and then on the inside of this absolute value, you're going to have 8 minus 5, which is 3. Now what is the absolute value of 3? Well, that is just 3. Okay, and then 3 times 3 is 9. Okay, so the main thing I wanted you to see in this lesson was that whenever they say something like f of 4 or f of 3, what they're telling you to do is change the x value, okay? 
or whatever value it is. Sometimes they use different letters. For example, sometimes they might say f of t equals to 3t minus 6. And then if they say f of 2, then all that they're doing is they're showing you that this part here is normally a t, but now they're saying that you must change it to a 2. So then you would go change all of the t's to a 2. And so if you want me to work this one out, we can quickly do that, like that, which would be 6 minus 6, which is 0.